everyone, this is Shirkin here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, how to shade on GIMP. Uh, me and my friend were talking about it and uh, this person, Kira Girl from DeviantArt.com, uh, has a technique on shading that I thought I'd like to try. And so here I am going to try it on my uh, drawing of my horse head. It's PJ. There's the original photo there on the right uh, that I drew off of. So I already have it colored and everything just because that takes far too long for me to go through those processes to color it all and do the shading. <coughs> I have a bit of a cold so please do stand by. <laughs> uh, so as you see here I have my background layers and then my three color layers here. Uh, this one is actually line art. So if you add all these, you see oops, that all it is was the original drawing, while these three layers here are the color, and the last one is my white background. What you're going to do is you're going to start off by adding a new layer, keeping it on transparency, and you're going to want that new layer between your line art and all your color layers. Then we have a line art and our three color layers right here. So with this, you're going to click on it, your new layer that we'll call shade and we are going to go down to multiply. Once that's clicked, we're going to select a color of gray. I'm just going to test it out here. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. And you're going to color in all over your horse. So or whatever it is you're drawing. So I'm just going to do this, all over, and then I'm going to clean up the other areas. So I just selected my color layer, and it's going to make, and my fuzzy select tool, and it's going to make um, the marching ants, as some people call it, all around just my color, and then I'm going to go back to shade with my eraser, and just erase everything outside, so that way I'm all clean again. Just like that. There. We're going to go to select. None. Okay. Next, you're going to hide all your color layers, so that's all you can see. Is Now your drawing just looks like it's gray. So keeping on our erase, you're going to start erasing the things that are not shadows. So anything that's highlight or regular color. So I'm going to start off at the face here, and I'm going to have fuzzy brush for this. And this is where you start. So just remember, like this, I, this is not a technique that I'm used to. Normally, I use the dodge and burn tool, but uh, after trying this for the first time, I found out that this is much, much easier in in some ways for like uh, a drawing like this, and it uh, gives it a different look, much, much more defined. try to make this as quick as possible so uh, please don't mind my uh, if it looks a little rough and also if you need to if you erase something I mean you could always undo but if you look back and say oh well he's got an indentation there and you didn't leave that I just take my spray brush or you could do the paintbrush but I find the spray brush works better and you can just draw it back and erase again change your opacity and that'll uh, determine how much you're actually erasing how hard the pressure is for your eraser so. Like that. I'm also going to do a little bit on the mane, but where his mane's uh, black, 
Um, anything that's shaded is not going to show up much anyways. Because I've actually colored this picture a couple times just to try it out. There we go. <laughs> okay, zoom out a little. Call that fine for now. Um, it's not. I would probably spend some more time on it perfecting it. But uh, that's pretty much a general idea. You erase some. You uh, add a few new brush strokes to fix things. When you're happy with it, you'll put back your layers, and there you have your shaded drawing. So it's pretty simple. A lot simpler than when I first looked at it. And I when I first looked at the tutorial, and I was like, mm, I was very skeptical. But uh, after I tried it and I, I found out that it made my drawing look a lot better than it would have if I did it my normal way. Anywho, I hope this helped you, you all find maybe a new way of trying something new and shading. And uh, comment and uh, talk to you guys soon.